Moving on with quadratic functions, let's examine further on the properties of the modulus. Let's say the question asks us to solve modulus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 and then equal to 6. Okay. Now, you have to understand that the modulus feature tells us that there could be two possible values. One is a plus and one is a minus. So in this situation here, what it means is that I have two possible values, which is 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 equal to 6. Or another possible value here will be 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 equal to negative 6. Okay, so one is a positive 6 and one more is a negative 6. So I have to solve each one. So there are two quadratic equations to solve here. Looking at the first one, by rearranging this, now remember the number on the right must be equal to 0. Otherwise, we cannot, I repeat, we cannot factorize, therefore we cannot solve. So doing that gives us 2x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. Now, if you go ahead and type this in your calculator, you will notice that the answer given is a decimal. In other words, we have to use the quadratic formula. We have used this again and again. So this time, I'm straight away going to plug it into the formula. So x equal to negative bracket b number negative 4 plus minus negative 4, which is the b square, minus 4, a number is 2, c number is negative 5, and then square root, divided by 2, a, which is 2. Alright, so simplifying this gives us 4 plus minus square root of 56 over 4. Quick reminder, Square root of 56 can be broken down into 4 times 14. Square root, when I square root 4, I get 2. 14 will remain as square root 14. So, what I get now will then be 4 plus minus 2 square root 14. Don't forget, denominator is 4. Okay, now please don't do this. Many students tend to do this. They will cut the 4 and the 4. It is not possible. Okay? The correct way to simplify instead is by factorizing first. So, we have 4 and 2. I can take out 2, bracket, balance 2, plus minus, this is just square root 14, bracket, over 4. Now, we can simplify these two numbers. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 gives us 2, which means here we have two solutions for the first quadratic equation. So x equals 2 plus minus square root 14 divided by 2. Okay, there are two answers here because one is a plus and one is a minus. Right? Now, as for the other quadratic equation, which is this one, again, we must rearrange it. So we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 7 equal to 0. So we use the calculator to determine whether we will get a decimal or not. But notice there's a small symbol at the top right hand of your corner which will tell you that it is imaginary, which means there are no real roots. But you cannot just write and say there are no real roots. We have to prove it. And how do we do that? By using b squared minus 4ac equal to Okay, so we replace each value. We already know B number is negative 4 square minus 4. A number is 2, C number is 7. We need to find out is the answer a positive or a negative or a zero. Okay, so by calculating this value, the calculator gives us negative 40. Negative 40 tells us that the b squared minus 4ac value is less than 0. So what is the uh, feature of b squared minus 4ac less than 0? Well, it means that there are no real roots. Hence, this quadratic equation over here has got no solution. So for this entire question, we only have these two values over here. What two values? Two values are, one of it, x equal to 2 
plus square root 14 divided by 2 or another x value is 2 minus square root 14 divided by 2 get it okay I'm going to go further with the next part let's examine inequality but involving modulus okay so inequality involving modulus let's look at this question now okay suppose we are given modulus x square minus x minus 4 and then less than 0 okay now the interesting thing about the modulus inequality is that there are two things to remember number one if it is modulus x less than 0 that means this will result in not 0 sorry let's take a number let's say the number is 3 okay so this will result in negative 3 less than x less than positive 3 however if the symbol is pointing in the opposite direction say modulus x is larger than 5 this means I will get two possible answers one being x less than negative 5 or another is x larger than 5 okay so there are two properties of the uh, inequality involving modulus coming back to this particular question notice the symbol here is less than so because it's less than that means it will be less than that means we will get something like this okay uh, hang on i wrote this wrong number this number should not be zero this number should be two okay so in this situation what we have now is uh, negative 2 less than x square minus x minus 4 and then less than 2 okay so this format one number on the left one number on the right okay the left number is negative 2 the right number is a positive 2 okay so this is a combined inequality which we can then separate into two so on one hand we get negative 2 less than x square minus x minus 4 in case you don't get what I'm saying it's this part over here okay that is one inequality the other inequality comes or the other inequality is this x square minus x minus 4 less than 2 okay and how do we get that well the other part comes from here okay we have to separate this into two different inequalities solve each one and then later on we have to find a common solution by drawing a number line so coming back to this one here now there are two ways of doing this i'm going to do the most obvious or what students normally do which is take everything from the right hand side and bring over to the left hand side when this happens we will get negative x squared plus x plus 4 minus 2 less than 0 okay simplifying this gives us negative x squared plus x plus 2 less than 0 however please do remember that right here we have got a negative for the x square the x square value cannot be a negative hence what we will need to do here is i need to remind you guys to reverse everything reverse everything meaning the negative x square becomes positive x square minus x minus 2 reverse will also mean the symbol must change direction so x squared minus x minus 2 larger than 0 okay hence we can factorize this because we have 0 on the right so press your calculator you should get x plus 1 one bracket x minus 2 another bracket larger than 0 so this means that one x number is equal to negative 1 or another x number is x equal to 2 okay now i've explained this to cl in class when it is larger than that means the solution will be 2 x less than negative 1 x larger than 2 okay so this solution comes from the first inequality but we have a second inequality okay so coming back to the second inequality rearranging this will give us x squared minus x minus 6 less than 0 once we have 0 we can factorize into two brackets so x plus 2 x minus 3 this means x equal negative 2 x equal to 3 notice this time the symbol here is less than 
which means the answer format will be in this form negative 2 less than x less than 3. Please understand the difference between this symbol and this symbol and how the result or how we write the answer. When it is larger than, we write them as separate with a comma in between. When it is less than, we write it as together, combined, where the x is in the middle. Okay, so now we have this solution from the first inequality we have this solution from the second inequality but we have to find a common solution so to do that we have to go back to the number line so i draw a number line which is just a straight line now on this number line i need to write down four numbers what four numbers well can you see there's one number here two three and four starting with the smallest number which is negative two followed by negative one two and finally three okay if you remember how to draw your number line for negative two and three for this part here the number line is drawn this way one circle unshaded because there's no symbol or no line below the symbol and then we draw a straight line to join these two circles so this will be for this one over here now as for the other one negative one so i just draw a circle again unshaded above the negative one symbol points to the left so i draw arrow pointing to the left as for the number two i draw a white circle or unshaded circle above the number two this time the symbol points to the right arrow points to the right now notice how we have overlap overlap okay over here and there's another overlap over here each overlap tells us the solution so since the overlap over here on the left is overlapping between the numbers negative 2 and negative 1 therefore for this portion the solution is this negative 2 symbol x symbol negative 1 as for this portion here the overlap tells us the answer is 2 symbol x symbol 3 so we have got these two as the answers this is one part of the common solution and this is another common solution understand all right